I'm a consuming fire. So the only thing that divine, divinity better through their wisdom was to create a vessel called man. So that God can tabernacle in man. The Bible said in Ephesians 6 10, that even the principalities and powers they will be taught the ways of God by looking upon man. In Eden, everything was a symphony of the divine. So when the mosquitoes came to man, they didn't come to bite him. They came to sing songs of glory. The man could pick the frequency of God because the mosquito was meant to wash him. So when he approaches the man, the flappings of his wings, you know the Bible said, the wings of the cherubim, as they flapped their wings, it was like the voice of many waters. So when the mosquitoes show up, they are bringing worship. And Adam can sense that vibration of God from the mosquitoes. When the lions see him, they see the importance of his back. When David was carried to the spirit and he saw what God planned in the state of eternity, he now said, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the Son of Man that thou didst visit him. He said, You made him a little lower than only the Elohim, and you crowned him with glory. The word glory is the word Kabod. It means the true weight and expression of God that the crown of man. In the angelic ranking, in all of creation, only man could reveal the dimensions of God. And Lucifer had perceived these things, so he wanted to enter into it. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, above the clouds of the heavens, and I will be like the most high. It was not given to him. Because when the divine was communing, no angel was given that status. And on account of this first attempt to be like deity, he was dethroned from heaven. So when Lucifer saw the man, so you are the one that God had this plan for. He came and made sure that man violated the protocol. Because the man after God cannot be destroyed. The only way you can attack that man is for him to self-destruct. And Lucifer understands that the technology of self-destruction is the technology of rebellion. So he brought it in a subtle way by seduction. The word is called Nakas. It means the whispers of an encounter. The humans of divination. He whispered to the man. And the man went the way of rebellion and fell. Ah! And the prophet said, How art thou fallen? I say, Ye are gods! Because you are the children of the most high, but you will fall like one of the princes, because you know not. Why did you yield to the deception of the serpent? Do you know who you are? And the man began to live under a curse. From dust you are, and to dust you shall return. And he said to the serpent, You will go on your belly all the days of your life, and on dust you shall feed. So the man that was the carrier of the glory of God became food for the serpent. What a fall. Every time you live like the fallen man, you are food for the serpent. So the nakas will rule over you.